the ordinary is mysterious. Chinese masters Chong Tzu used to say that the halo of saintliness around you shows that you are still there. The images of these saints are painted with a halo around their head, a white circle. Be it Jesus, be it Nanak, be it Jarathrustra, Krishna, Buddha, Mahabir, all of them have a white circle around their heads. Chongsu and Laozi, Laozi was the master and Chongsu was his disciple. They used to say that all halo around your head shows that head is still exists and with head ego exists when ego is not there that means head is not there and when head is not there how can you create a halo around it the halo that you are good is sure to create calamity for you and calamity for the others as well Lao Tse and Chang Su are the only masters and disciples. They have never been painted in pictures with halo or aura around them. On the other hand, Jesus, Jarathrust, Krishna, Buddha and Mahavir all have been painted with an aura around their head. Lao Tse and Chang Su say, if you are really good, no aura appears around your head. On the contrary, the head disappears completely. And when head is no more, where to draw the aura? When head is no more, the aura cannot be drawn. All auras somehow relate to ego. It is not Krishna or Jesus who has made a self-portrait. It is the disciples who have made the portrait and around the portrait they draw a circle around the head. They cannot think of him without drawing an aura around their heads. With aura they look extraordinary. But in reality all that is ordinary is mysterious. And Chong Su says, to be ordinary is to be a sage. Nobody recognizes you. Nobody feels that you are somebody extraordinary. But we try to put on a garb so that we look differently. And that way, we try to look extraordinary. Chong Su says you go in the crowd and you mix, but no one knows that a Buddha has entered the crowd. No one comes to feel that somebody different has entered the crowd. If somebody feels it, then there is bound to be anger and calamity in the crowd. Whenever somebody feels that you are somebody, his anger and ego is hurt. He starts reacting and attacking you. That is why all these masters have been attacked by the ignorant ones. So Chong Su says, Character is not to be cultivated because that too is a sort of wealth. And so-called religious people go on teaching cultivate character, cultivate morality, and be virtuous. In the process, it becomes your accumulated oil. And all accumulation is egoistic, whether it is virtue or money or anything. But why is it so? Why be virtue? Why be virtuous? Why be against the sinner? 
but your mind is a doer. You are still ambitious and if you reach paradise and there you see sinners sitting around God, you will feel hurt. Your whole life has been wasted. You cultivate virtues and character while these people were enjoying themselves and doing all sorts of things which are condemned. And here they are sitting around God. So too, if you see the saints and sinners together in paradise, you will be very hurt. You will become very sad and miserable too because your virtue is also part of your ego. You cultivate saintliness to be superior but the mind stays the same way unchanged. How to be superior in some way or the other how to make the others inferior is the motive behind all these things. If you can gather much wealth, then they are poor and you are rich. If you can become an Alexander in possession of a great kingdom and they are beggar, you will be known as powerful. If you can become a great scholar, then you are knowledgeable and they are ignorant and illiterate. If you can become virtuous, religious, respectful, respectable and moral, then they are condemned as sinners. But the duality continues in all the way. The sinner and the virtuous, the rich and the poor, you are fighting against others who are trying to be superior. Chong Tzu says, if you cultivate your character and outshine others, you will not avoid calamity. Therefore, never try to outshine others and do not try to cultivate characters for this egoistic purpose. So for Chong Su, there is only one character worth mentioning and that is egolessness. Egolessness is the only virtue. All else follows it. Without it, nothing has any worth. You may become godlike in your character, but if the ego is still there inside, all your godliness, all your virtues is in the service of the devil. All your virtues is nothing but a face and the sinner remains hidden behind it. And this sinnerness cannot be transformed through virtues or through any type of cultivation. It is only when you are not Ego is, is completely dis vanished, then this sinnerness is attained. Egolessness is the only virtue, and ego is the only sin. Not the definition of sin as given by the other preceptors. Chong Su's definition of sin is totally different. One who is full of ego is a sinner. Ego is sin according to Chong Su.